Welcome to our Five on Five. Pleased to be joined today by Democratic State Senator Mark Hass. He's running for Secretary of State. Good to see you, sir. Good to see you. Thanks, thanks for, for having me here. Thanks for being here. Yeah, so you're Senator from, from Washington County up north. You've worked in the legislature for several years as a state rep and, and uh, as a state senator. What are you most proud of of your work in the House? Well, a couple of things. Uh, the reason I ran was to deal with an underfunded educational system. And so uh, we had two things. One uh, is known as the Oregon Promise. Uh, that allows high school graduates to go to community colleges tuition free and that was a long time coming and it was really important to me in fact I'll tell you a story we, I met uh, uh, at our first orientation Oregon Promise orientation session I met a young woman who was going to study to be a dental hygienist and she was very excited and she told me that uh, she wanted to do this and if it wasn't for the Oregon Promise she'd probably be cleaning houses and she's the first one in her family to go to college and so uh, that was great I heard a bunch of those stories but then I ran into her a few years later just as she was about to graduate with a degree to be a dental hygienist and she was really excited again and, and said you know this has been great my sister's going to go through the Oregon Promise and she's going to be a dental hygienist but one thing she won't be able to say, she won't be able to say she's the first person in her family to go to college. And so I'm very proud of the Oregon Promise. It's, it's been a cultural change in this, in this state. And uh, that's, we're in our fifth year now. We've got about 10,000 kids on the Oregon Promise in community colleges today, all over from Southern Oregon to Portland. And uh, I put that down as one of my uh, most proud accomplishments. The other one, of course, is this year passage of the Student Success Act. It'll raise more than a billion dollars a year for K through 12 education. And I'm proud of that because this has been probably something that myself and other legislators have been trying to do for decades. And this kind of writes the ship from those tax cuts that occurred back in the 90s and kind of gets schools back on track to where they should be. And um, that feels like a good capstone to my legislative career. And I'm very, very proud of the Student Success Act. As a longtime Portland area resident, as well as uh, obviously a politician in, in Salem, um, I'm, I'm curious, what have you done that you think uh, benefits rural Oregon the most? Well, the Oregon Promise passed the Senate 28 to 1. And there was a reason for that. When we were talking about opportunities for our young people, it wasn't just the Portland area, it wasn't just Washington County, but uh, I worked with uh, people in timber communities. And those opportunities um, have gone away for young people. And people in Douglas County, Jackson County, Josephine County were just as concerned about opportunities for their young people as we were up in Washington County, Multnomah County. And so we came together and said, you know, uh, it's good to go learn a trade. Not everybody needs to go to a four-year university or go off to be a doctor, but um, we need opportunities for our kids from rural areas if they're not going to be in the uh, timber industry, to go and learn how to be a, a paramedic, to be a welder, to be a dental hygienist. And that, that resonated with, with rural Oregon. And I think that was as big a victory for rural Oregon as it was for the Portland metro area. There are two states that do this now, and I think this, this speaks to it. Oregon, Blue Oregon, and Red Tennessee both offer free community college tuition to high school graduates. And this has changed the culture in our state. And like I said before, it's one of the things I'm most proud of in my entire legislative career. Okay, we're gonna take a quick commercial break. Much more in just a moment. Stay with us. Welcome back to our Five on Five. We're here with Mark Hass, Democratic State Senator running for the Secretary of State position for Oregon. Uh, what are your priorities for a Secretary of State position? Well, a couple of things. Uh, number one, we need to shore up our election security from outside meddling, not the vote by mail process. We're, we're pretty good there because as we always say, you can't hack paper. But our vulnerability is in our registration database of 2.8 million voters. We need stronger uh, firewalls. And you know, we've had four secretaries of state in the last four years, and they are all good people. But when you're filling in for somebody or you're doing a partial, partial term, you're not gonna have the long-term vision or the kind of energy that I would bring to it and it's and it's really time for an overhaul of that office and so I have some policies that I'm uh, proposing for this office um, and it's those policies are relevant to what this office can do and I'm very proud that we're running a campaign that's based on proposals and policies and not just on what consultants tell you to do which is fundraise only don't bother going to Southern Oregon the voters are up in Portland and um, I'm proud that we're running our own campaign this way. We're recording this around the lunch hour. You're speaking tonight at 7 o'clock. Where can people see you? Yes, we'll be at the uh, Medford Public Library in the Adams Conference Room. And uh, I'd love to take questions and, and hear what's 
on people's mind. Okay, and that event starts at 7, correct? Starts at 7 o'clock. Very good. Thanks for taking the time. Good you to see you. You betcha. Thank you. All right. Stay with us. We'll be right back.